Riverdale High School is getting a complete overhaul, the largest in Lee County Schools history. I'm Fox 4's Austin Shagorodsky. I got a tour of the construction to see how upgrades like a state-of-the-art science building and a new gym are set to elevate learning. Crews worked left and right all over the campus as the school's principal, Scott Cook, showed us around. Cook said the school hasn't seen an overhaul like this since it was built in 1972, and the aging infrastructure was affecting science classes. No gas lines, water didn't work, they weren't ADA compliant, just did not meet the needs of regular science curriculum, but definitely didn't meet the needs of the high-level science curriculum that we get into through the IB program. Now, Cook says they will have 14 brand new science classrooms to kick off the school year. Next, we checked out the new gym. Cook said it will solve space limitations. This gym being up to size of closer to 1,600 seats, when our students at basketball, in particular boys and girls, whenever they made the playoffs, we could not play at our home gym because the state had a certain size capacity uh, requirement. Plus, Cook said the old gym will be converted to a multi-use facility for other sports. On the tour, we also got a look at the cafeteria with new kitchens and 30% more seating, updated administrative office space. The hallways were redone with new plumbing and HVAC, and Cook mentioned a safety improvement parents will appreciate. There'll be a stacking lane on the side of Buckingham, so our parents who are waiting to get into the school, they will not have to park on Buckingham. While the science building will be completed soon, Cook said the other upgrades won't be ready until next August. But he says there's a plan to make sure students stay safe during the renovations. But they do primary walkways. They keep the students a certain number of feet away from the construction area. We'll be utilizing portables for just one more year to bring them out for that swing space to open up areas in the schools. Once the construction is done, Cook said the school will have more capacity without needing portables. And the space they took up will turn into practice fields and volleyball courts. Reporting in Fort Myers, I'm Austin Shagorodsky, Fox 4 News.